Hi, I'm James from Spares Direct, and today, in this video, we're going to be showing you how to change the fan motor in an electric built-in oven. Okay, if your oven is heating up okay, but the blade on the fan is no longer spinning, then it's probably because the fan motor has failed. It's quite a common part to fail on ovens, and we can replace it in the following few steps. Okay, um, first we're going to take the door off the oven, just to make accessing the fan a little bit easier. We do this by opening the door, folding the clasps on the hinge to the open position, and once the door is closed, the door should release. Okay, take the shelves out. And next, we need a cross-head screwdriver or sometimes a Torx driver, depending on your oven. This oven is an Indesit FM20KC, but the process for replacing the fan motor will be the same on almost all electric ovens. You can check the correct fan motor for your oven on sparesdirect.com. Okay, so we're gonna remove the internal back panel of the oven. And this one's held on with four screws. With the screws removed, the panel should literally come away from the oven. Okay. <clears throat> you should now be able to see the fan. The fan is held on by a normal nut and bolt. Um, interestingly, the nut is reverse threaded, so the blade doesn't become loose while the fan is spinning. So that means to unscrew the nut, we turn it clockwise. Okay, and the fan should come off. Okay, most fan motors don't actually come with the fan supplied, so you will need to keep yours. Okay, um, might be able to take this opportunity to give it a good clean. Okay, next, so we've kept the fan on the side there, we've kept the nut, and we're gonna now need access to the back of the oven to remove the motor itself. So, to remove the back panel of the oven to access the fan motor, we just need to undo the four screws. Okay, we also notice that the back panel is held on by the electrical wires which power the oven. It's a good idea to take a picture of the location of these wires so when we're replacing the panel um, we know where they go. With these wires removed which should just pull away from the socket <coughs> by hand. <coughs> we can now see the fan motor, which is mounted on the rear case of the oven. Okay, it's also a good idea at this point to take a photo of the wires going into the fan motor. Just makes replacing the motor much easier. And remove the electrical wires. Okay, so, once we undone the screws to the motor, which on this motor there's three, we can now replace the motor.
Okay, the new fan motor should look almost identical to the old one and should align in exactly the same position. All we need to do now is reattach the three screws on the new motor. Okay, consulting the photo we took earlier, we replace the two wires back on the motor and we're now ready to replace the back panel. First, by reclipping the electrical wires. Again, always consult the photo we took earlier. Even if you remember how to do it, it's always worth checking before you turn the power on back to the oven. Okay. Make sure all the wires are sitting neatly, I'm not coming into contact with the fan. <clears throat> Realign the back panel. And replace the screws in the casing. Okay, we now need to access the front of the oven again. Okay, now we're ready to replace the old fan, the one which we've kept. Okay, and the nut, just a reminder, that it is reverse threaded so to tighten it's anti-clockwise okay we're now ready to replace the back internal panel Okay, with the back panel in place, just replace the shelves. <clears throat> and refit the door. The door is refit by lining the hinges up with the mountings opening the door, reclosing the clasps on both hinges to the closed position and there we are. One fan motor changed on an electric built-in oven. Remember you can check your fan motor for your make and model at sparesdirect.com. Thanks for watching.